In this tutorial, we're going to be taking you through step by step showing you how to invite students and or prospects or quite frankly anybody to either one of your live classes or a live webinar. So as in the previous tutorial, we have set up a live class and a live webinar. In the meantime, I've added a little bit more content and a bit more description to both the class and the webinar. So here you are, we've got our live class set up here uh, due to kick off in just under 24 hours and our live webinar just here. So let's start with your live class. Okay, so here we are, New Zealand test uh, beginning in 23 hours and six minutes. Now, really, really exciting. I'm about to go live in under 24 hours and presenting or teaching to my students. Now, remembering these uh, registrants for this particular live class need to be enrolled or registered in one of your courses, okay, or to your site. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to invite, and here we are, you'll see we've got the link here to register. But again, remember, sharing this URL with users who would like to book a spot on a live class, only registered users can attend in this live class. So we're gonna to go to send broadcast. What I wanna be doing is I wanna be giving as much notice to my potential registrants as possible. So here we are, we come through to the email broadcast section. And this section here, the first section is gonna be focusing on the recipients. So who am I gonna be uh, email broadcasting to, to get them signed up and registered for my live class? So the title is New Zealand Test, it's from me, Martin, and my email address, okay? When I was setting up the live class, and I had the um, ability to action who I wanted this particular live class to be, uh, who the attendees that I wanted to be within my particular live class. I selected, and again, you'll see here, match any of the following. So the students filter and edit filters. So I wanted to uh, approach the uh, enrolled students in a build Lego former model like a pro and how to build a Lego Koi in 30 minutes, okay? So all of my students, and you'll see here, there are 27, okay, who are selected from within these two particular courses I'm gonna be reaching out to. So within your admin side, within your email and within your filters, yours will be different. You may have less or you may have several hundred who are currently enrolled within your courses, who you will be email broadcasting out, okay? So what we're then gonna be do is go to next, and here is the uh, email copy itself. So we've got, again, really, really simple template. You can make it as comprehensive as you wish. Uh, for some reason, mine comes up with Mart, but let's do Martin. So hi, first name, uh, this is an invite to book your spot at my up and coming live class. The topic is New Zealand Test, and when is happening on Friday the 5th of June at 2 p.m. This link here is gonna be taking them through to the registration link for them to sign up and register for your live class, okay? As always, please note that the spots are limited, okay? At this point, I'd be then going to next, or of course you can do a uh, send, so you can just do a test run, sending out to yourself. And here, uh, again, I could do a, a test run, but I can either send it now, or I could schedule to send in an hour's time, or three hours before the class starts, or I can save it as a draft. So in this instance, I'll be saving it as a draft, okay? So within the webinars, again, very, very same, same, but different. Within the webinars, you have the ability to send this particular link to anybody. They do not need to be an enrolled student of yours. Okay, so we can send broadcast now. And again, very, very similar to the class setup. Let's change that. So title name, from name is Martin, my email address, and the recipients, okay, this can be anybody. So this can be all of your uh, email lists, you can import lists, you can uh, build lists. Um, this can be to everybody. You can also do advanced filters to be sent into specific uh, filter groups that you have, different courses, different uh, prospect lists. This can be to anybody. So within the next section, again, 
exactly the same as your classes you set up here. So if you if you are potentially sending, if you're going to be doing, let's say, a, a sales webinar, then potentially you're going to be reaching out to prospects. So you're probably be going to be wanting to personalize this quite a bit to be uh, approaching in a particular manner, in a particular way to get your particular prospects into this live webinar but in essence this is the blank template that you have here um, and again if i were you i'd be looking to personalize this somewhat but again conceptually this is showing you how you can uh, approach either students or prospects through a live class and or a live webinar okay again you can send this uh, particular broadcast now you can schedule or you could draft in this instance, I will be setting it as a draft. But in essence, those two ways here show you exactly how to be setting up and inviting students, enrolled student students into a live class and or prospects into a webinar. Live class, your students need to be enrolled either on the site or through one of your courses. Through a webinar, all you need is the link. And from that link, you can send that out to any list uh, via any broadcast, you can schedule it, you can send it right away now, you can schedule it to go at another time, or you can set it up as a draft and, and schedule it several times over the coming potential hours or days or weeks before your webinar is starting.